Uh, set up with some former mates out there. Yeah. A pretty physical game. Talk a little bit about the. Uh, yeah, the game I mean, uh, you know, that's uh, it's always a battle when you play against a good team, and uh, you know, it's always gonna be physical, and so came out of kind of a smaller field too, so that kind of brings it out even more. But um, you know, to be honest, it's uh, good to get a zero. Probably uh, had a couple chances, especially me, uh, myself. Uh, I could have had a goal, I should have, but uh, not too bad. Yeah, the, that path volley you took yeah. there, you were really lining that up? And yeah, I was. I, I thought I definitely should at least hit it off frame. I was a bit, a bit disappointed about that, but uh, you know, appreciate it, I guess. Uh, Talk, talk about the the flow of the second half of the referee not really calling a lot. It seemed to get pretty physical out there. Did that take you out of your game and to, you know, for the team as a whole? Yeah, I mean, well? I, th I think it took both teams out of the game. I mean, I know uh, both teams like to get the ball down and play, and uh, you know, I, th I felt like we spent half the game trying to get the ball back and play. You know, dead dead, uh, dead uh, set pieces and stuff like that. And so, uh, took a little bit of both teams out of the game, but uh, oh no, uh, it'd be difficult. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's definitely a concern. Um, we we definitely have some things that uh, we feel that are very important to us. Um, you know, just you know, non-economical things that are just kind of more player rights um, and stuff like that that we feel that you know won't hurt the league that both sides are kind of, there's still a distance between us, and so, uh, you know, I, both sides don't want a, any work stoppage, but um, it's kind of a last resort thing, and, uh, you know, I think both sides are hoping against it, but we'll kind of see what happens. Every time each side sort of fires a shot in the PR war, do you think you get a little closer to that? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's, that's my hope, um, you know, especially having a mediator now. Um, I know that we're sending guys out there. Uh, all of our team reps are going out to D.C. Uh, this week and uh, are meeting with them for the next four days. And so, you know, it's uh, it's kind of interesting hearing hearing our side and then uh, hearing their side. And uh, it's kind of funny that we hear a whole other side from our union reps and then what they're portraying uh, on the PR. So it's kind of interesting on that point. But, uh, you know, I mean, to be honest, I just hope that it, it works out. And I think that's everyone's hope, too. I mean, do you think you guys have to do that? Like, it is PR war? Like, you have to kind of win the hearts of the fans? Um, you know, we want to. Uh, we just want to get our story out there. Uh, we feel, you know, it's not that we're trying to win a side. We just want to want them to know what's going on. Um, to be honest, I think they did and uh, followed us day in, day out. Um, to be honest, I don't know, they definitely have a bias, but I think that they would, <laughs> they would see our side and uh, kind of see where we're coming from. So. Changing subjects, uh, yep. how was the trip in England? Oh, it was it was uh, wonderful. It's uh, you know kind of a once in a lifetime trip to uh, be able to see a couple games. I was able to see a Champions League game, see an English Premier League game. Um, you know, I always remember that for the rest of my life. And so just see you know Tottenham practice and be able to practice at their facilities and stuff. It was great to me and uh, be able to play against some of the guys that you know I've seen on TV and play against them. That was pretty cool. Right. Yeah. Okay.